we expected modest outcomes from this meeting to begin with, and so far that seems to be the right call. The meeting itself will not change the course of U.S.-China relations, which has been on a slow decline due to key differences in their political vision and interests. Um, it will reset and stabilize ties. Uh, but the time for major breakthroughs and progress on advancing U.S.-China relations is behind us. OK, so away from the handshakes and the smiles and the pomp and the pageantry, of course, that we often get with these and the carefully worded joint statements we got from both sides, what happens next, do you think, particularly as Biden is heading into this election year? Well, the key, Sam, is what you have uh, mentioned earlier, the various uh, tactical incremental agreements uh, to address specific issues that were um, concluded in this meeting. So uh, we know that they that China will crack down on fentanyl precursors. Uh, both countries have issued statements earlier today agreeing, agreeing to cooperate on climate change. Both countries will step up on establishing various mechanisms for military to military dialogue, which is very important, facilitating people to people contact, including more student exchanges, tourism, flights. Uh, there might be also more corporate deals emerging in the next few days. The key to all this, Sam, is implementation. How will President Biden implement all these agreements on the state side and whether President Xi faces any pressure um, domestically to not implement um, or to uh, not implement properly the agreements that um, he has made uh, on his side.